about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, um, May 24, 2023. We're getting tropical storm force winds at this point. They're not expecting the uh, typhoon to hit us fully until about four o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, definitely getting uh, power surges, um, temporary outages, uh, power is fluctuating definitely. Um, be interesting to see. I'm trying to decide whether to um, pull the plug in the refrigerator at the moment. Uh, you can see mostly not the wind's not too bad, but there are significant gusts. See if we can catch one. And fairly steady rain, though not tremendous rain at the moment. That's good. Had uh, clearly a bit of flooding yesterday, but so far not much today. Uh, not much in the way of rain. See what happens. Generally, um, you get a lot of rain during a typhoon. It's now about noon, uh, May, Wednesday, May 24, 2023. I think it has gotten a bit more windy. At least the sustained winds are a little bit higher than they were. Not a lot though. This thing is coming on fairly slowly, I think. Don't know if you can see the clouds in the background. They're, they are being sucked off towards the typhoon. Still not much rain. In fact, really none at all at the moment. This is good. This is a good thing. So still a lot of wind movement, but not really strong wind, except the occasional gust here and there. You get some moaning. Hopefully you heard that. A little bit of a moan. Get some more than that at times, but eh. It is what it is. It's about uh, one o'clock, Wednesday, May 24, 2023. Raining, but not super heavily. I was getting a little bit of more wind than we had been uh, <laughs> before I started filming, but of course, once I start filming, it dies down again. <clears throat> so still not that different from the last hour or so. I think it is getting a little bit stronger. There we go, there's, there's some more. Still pretty much tropical storm type winds, not 
not typhoon winds yet, really. And so far, trees and things are doing okay. Even the bananas across the street seem to be fine. They are getting blown quite a bit, but... Still a couple of hours um, before the expected closest point of approach. Okay, two o'clock, roughly, Wednesday, uh, May 24, 2023. Typhoon Mawar. Uh, we are now getting typhoon force winds, uh, though nowhere near uh, super typhoon strength yet. Um, the Dana trees in the yard next door are still standing, but uh, bent over a bit. A couple of the mango trees, though, have lost branches. Um, some fairly big breaks. I'm going to try and get this one. Don't know how well that can be seen, but uh, both the both the tree, well, there's, I guess there's three trees there, <clears throat> but the middle one and the one on the left both have uh, broken branches. Period of calm, of course, when I'm filming, it calms down, of course it does. Anyway, uh, the sea winds are getting to be fairly strong, and gusts uh, definitely, definitely pretty strong. But not, not super typhoon strength yet at all. And I just noticed that the um, clouds, the upper clouds seem to be going, uh, instead of straight north-south, they're going more north-east. And that's probably a good sign. That may well mean that the uh, storm is tracking a little bit further north than they expected. That would be good. We shall see. It's uh, about 3 o'clock, Wednesday, May 24, 2023. Typhoon Mawar. And of course that seems to die down every time I turn on the, the camera, but uh, again still ty definitely typhoon strength winds, but not super typhoon winds at this point. Um, we're still at least an hour away from uh, what they predicted to be the closest point of approach, so could still get get way up there. Uh, the wind really does seem to have shifted to the uh, from the coming from the northeast. No, coming from the northwest now, um, which indicates to me that the typhoon is moving north. So may well hit Rhoda instead of us. I mean, directly. I mean, it's hitting us, whatever, but... 
We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm reading things correctly, but uh, it might be. That's closer to one of their original tracks, but these things are crazy. They move around a lot. You can see a lot of movement, and we have had while well, we've had broken branches and stuff, nothing really major. Not nothing leaning over. Well, the bananas across the street. And gusts like that are getting significant. Still not on the order of. 195 miles an hour gas. That's probably more like, I don't know, 100, 110? I may be underestimating, but it just doesn't seem that strong to me at this point. It seemed much, much worse before. And thankfully, very, very little rain. It's usually the rain that really does us in, so if this keeps up, we're good to go. This is about uh, 315 Wednesday, May 24, 2023, Typhoon Malar. Uh, gotten a little bit stronger in just the last few minutes having trouble telling whether the wind has shifted again I kind of think it might have not sure but we're definitely getting rain at the moment uh, way more than we have previously slowing down a bit it was crazy there for a little bit and still back up a little so it does look like we're getting closer here still not super tight for its strength but itching toward it, actually. And now it stopped raining again, so... Which is good, because it tends to be the rain that causes the most damage, actually, due to flooding. is now just about four o'clock Wednesday May 24 2023 Typhoon Mawar now we're seeing some gusts and stuff that's starting to look like a real typhoon here plenty of rain at the moment so things have really picked up if this is indeed close to the closest point of approach, it's still not super typhoon wind, at least not here. But it is serious typhoon. Not a joke.
now that there's rain, that can actually really do some damage. Flooding and just the weight of the rain being driven by the wind really adds pressure to stuff. slowing down a bit. Well, it's about 420 <laughs> on Wednesday, May 24, 2023, Typhoon Malar. Things do seem to be intensifying a bit. Still not convinced that we're at super typhoon strength, but we're getting some pretty darn strong wind. So it's just sustained probably. Uh, something over 100, maybe 110 with gusts to 120, 125 maybe. Whatever that was. Just doesn't seem that strong. I mean, it's strong. Don't get me wrong, it's strong. I did not want to be out there. There was flying debris. Um, but it's not picking up roof kind of strong not that way it's definitely bra uh, branch breaking strong and a number of examples of that and I think uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's one tree leaning way over. It's like a mango tree. The um, bananas are still leaning, but are upright. Leaves pretty much shredded, but that's not that bad. I know. <laughs> they may be better off than the ones I cut. Um, papayas are doing okay. Still, the wind is going in a direction that indicates to me that the typhoon has not yet passed, so we still may be in for a much closer approach. We'll see. It is getting wilder. Gotta, gotta give it that. And again, less rain at the moment. I mean, we had that, that one rain during the last video. And it's not that it's not raining, it's just not very hard at the moment. Here's about uh, 4.40 p.m. Wednesday, May 24, 2023, Typhoon Mwamwa. Getting stronger. So it does look like uh, they're right that uh, we're getting a closer point of approach about now, maybe. 
cannot tell if the wind has shifted. I don't think it actually has yet. It seems like it's been going pretty much the same direction. That was a pretty strong gust. Sustained are a little bit stronger than they were even a few minutes ago, but I'm still not going to concede Super Typhoon strength at this point. But it does seem to be getting closer to us. And that was a pretty damn strong gust. But a super typhoon, I think, um, or at least by my experience with Fong San Hua was that would be sustained winds and not just gusts, and that the gusts would be a lot higher than that. Still, uh, it's strong, and it's not a, oh yeah, let's go out play in the rain kind of typhoon. I mean, you've got to be careful. may have slowed down a bit if, if we really haven't gotten to the closest point of approach yet. We'll see. Updates to follow. Okay. It's about 5 o'clock Wednesday. May 24, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Uh, definitely has gotten stronger since the last update at uh, 440. It's got to be coming closer. I think wind direction has changed. So I think that's also an indication that it's closer. A lot more rain at the moment. And also chickens that were sheltering at the side of the house have decided to come and join me in the carport. So I think that's another indication that the wind has shifted. That's a good sign and maybe a bad sign is that probably means it still hasn't gotten to us yet. Uh, but a good sign in that it's it's basically on us. Or as close as pretty close to as close as it's going to get it, I bet. So we'll see. Another hour though and it'll be, it'll start getting too dark to be able to film anymore. Yeah, a little, a little bit longer, hour and a half maybe. So it's pretty darn dark for five o'clock in the afternoon. Get some serious wind. And some of the trees that broke before have broken even more. You can probably, you can probably see that on the neighbor's house. Bananas are still there. Having a hard time, but they're still up. Pretty good gust. 
still don't think we're at super typhoon strength though. That just doesn't seem high enough. It's about uh, 5.30, Wednesday, May 24, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Does seem to be intensifying a bit. Uh, still, and this is sustained wind, seems to be. It's not 150. That is not 150. And it's strong wind. It's I don't want to be out there wind. But... That's not... It's, this is good. <laughs> don't get me wrong, this is good. <laughs> At the same time, it still looks like um, we haven't hit closest point of approach yet. We may yet get get much more intense than this. And I'm sure you can hear the chicks and hen in the background. They have sought shelter with me. We're getting flooding here, actually standing in water. what that crack was but definitely a lot more rain than we were getting it's probably an indication that the typhoon is close as well then getting to be some pretty hefty sustained winds. to be picking up. on it's just a couple minutes later it's still close to 5 30 
Wednesday, uh, May 24, 2023, Typhoon Moir really picked up. Sustained are quite a bit higher than they were. Still not sure that I believe 155 for the sustained, but getting closer to that. Gusts probably are higher than that. I would say we're getting closer to the closest point of approach. Yeah, definitely getting crazy. But I'm not actually outside. It's outside. Carport is safe so far. When the wind turns, it, I will have to go in and because it will not be safe at that point. But right now, I'm fine. I'm protected on sort of three sides. Gaps, but hey, that's, you can't have everything, right? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, now this is a typhoon. PM Wednesday May 24, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Gotta be pretty close to the closest point of approach here. Been uh, seeing more branches break off of uh, the mango tree on your right. Had some pretty decent sized um, gusts. I'm still not going to concede Super Typhoon at this point. Hmm. But definitely strong winds. It, and looks like it's pretty close, probably. Um, it does seem to be... The wind does seem to be moving, so I'm thinking that it will pass soon. We're probably hitting uh, backside winds, which tend to be stronger. But I'm just guessing on that, on that part. It may just be that it's that it's actually getting closer. That they were off by a couple of hours, which is easy to do because the things speed up and slow down and. Still pretty strong sustained winds and very strong gusts, but I I really am doubting the 155 or above for sustained and and maybe 160 for the 
guess. I'm not gonna, I just don't believe 195. So, either the, the modeling was off or um, it's the typhoon is significantly weakened or it's uh, quite a bit further north than they anticipated. Definitely not uh, going over the southern tip of Guam, uh, which is what the track had, the last track I saw had indicated. Got to be north at least, um, Dedido or even as high up as Rota, can't tell from here. Won't know until power's just restored probably. <laughs> Maybe not even then because it'll probably be weeks and, well actually, this is not looking so bad. Maybe power will be restored fairly quickly to the island. Up oh, there goes the mango tree. It's been taking a lot of punishment. It is on a slightly higher bit of land than the rest of this, so it may actually be taking a little bit higher winds than we are here. But that still doesn't look like 155 or better. And they were talking 161 sustained and 195 gusts, and that no way. There is no way. But again, we may be far enough. Uh, away from it still and it may have tracked further north and, and be farther away anyway but uh, 6 p.m. so it's gonna be too dark pretty soon to video may do some uh, sound video anyway and eh, probably not eh don't know <laughs> may do <laughs> we shall see okay somewhere around uh, 6 30 wednesday uh may 24 2023 uh, Typhoon Ma Mawar. I guess it, it's calmed down a little bit, but we were getting some really serious wind, uh, some more than uh, I've seen before. It may actually still be getting closer to us. If so, that means it slowed down considerably, based. Yeah based on the modeling that they'd had. Seemed to be uh, actually uh, lightening up and then wham. That may have just have been a random um, pulse. Now this is fairly heavy at the moment. like that though I think the gust um, prior was a little bit higher than that
Well, I think that's going to be the end of recording of the typhoon for for today. Uh, should be getting into aftermath for the next videos. See what that's like. I, given what I've seen so far, the island should be passable tomorrow, but we shall see. As it does seem like it may actually be coming a little bit closer, getting a little bit stronger. So the other side of that is it may well be the, the far side of the typhoon and that it's actually passed or, passing or has passed. Really hard to know from, from where we are on the ground and no communication at all. Uh, the cell towers are down, um, so not getting a signal. Of course, there's no power, so there's no internet. Completely isolated at this point. Well, it's uh, just after midnight, um, Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Um, it's still here, and it sounds like it's actually worse than it was. So it's either sitting on top of us, um, or I don't know what. I've got uh, at least some water in the master bedroom, um, and in and in the bathroom that's on the master bedroom. Nothing in any of the other rooms that I can tell. Um, So not too bad, but definitely must have been uh, a lot of rain to come up over the uh, foundation like that. It's still going pretty strong um, and sounds stronger than I've had before. It is now um, 2 a.m. Um, Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Mawar. Winds have decreased quite a bit, but we're still getting wind. So it, uh, it, sat on a, it has sat on us for many, many hours now. Um, boy, it, it's, it's going to be bad when we uh, get first light and, and see what's happened. I did get a bit of water in, um, but really pretty minor. So still in terms of um, overall rain and things like that, it hasn't been bad. Uh, at least not here, but uh, probably a good that the governor uh, ordered um, evacuation from low-lying areas and things. And good that the shelters were open. Uh, this is going to be bad when we get first light. Let's see what happens.
okay. It's uh, just about 6 a.m. Um, Thursday, uh, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Mawar. Uh, still getting uh, Typhoon Force winds. Uh, it has, the Typhoon has definitely passed us. Um, winds are, upper level winds are going, um, what, uh, south, coming from the southwest now, so completely opposite, um, boy, but, uh, it's, let's see, at 6 a.m., this has been about 19 hours of wind, not, not quite that much of, uh, typhoon force, but, uh, we're, getting a lot. You can maybe see that uh, a fair amount of trees down. Um, I know I've got trees in the in the back down I'm standing in in water. Um, though not a lot. Uh, still really not that much rain associated with this one, thank goodness. That would have really done us uh, a turn. But uh, this has been a long one. Um, 19 hours is a long, long time. <clears throat> and it's not showing any real signs of letting up anytime soon, so we'll see. About 7.20 a.m. Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Mawar. Still getting um, tropical storm winds at least. It's fairly heavy gusts, but uh, both things have, have settled down quite a bit at this point. Still not uh, point where I really want to go wandering around much, though I have gone out and cleared drains a bit. Chickens have uh, taken shelter with me a bit. You can hear them. A lot of damage. Um, not too that a lot of fair amount of tree damage to here infrastructure damage not so much in this area be interesting to see what the rest of the island is like we fared really well in this area looking forward to looking what at what the uh, yard looks like things like that not just yet. a.m. Uh, Thursday morning, uh, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Still tropical storm type winds. This thing must be huge actually or, has, or super slowed down over the night. And it's been I think 21 hours of, of decent winds. That's a lot. <clears throat> Definite trees down. Um, <laughs> can see things, uh, can see telephone poles in the distance that I hadn't been able to see before. 
uh, looks like at least here wires are all up. Hopefully that's true island wide. That would uh, mean restoration, at least power restoration would be quick or quicker. And somebody driving through. Been seeing cars off and on. Uh, still not a great idea, but you can see that uh, conditions are not super bad at this point. Are still getting um, some uh, gusts, but well, there's somebody else. So people are feeling confident, and I don't blame them really. It's not too bad. Definitely uh, tropical storm still conditions. But uh, even the chickens are starting to feel confident. Huh, well, may, maybe soon time to check the yard here. Been waiting because we've been getting some, still some driving rain. Huh. All right, lots of neighbors leaving, or driving around anyway. All right. Just after 9 o'clock a.m. Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Loire. Still wind. Uh, huh. I was going to say still tropical storm conditions. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Really reducing pretty well. Maybe getting down to just general rain and stuff. Yeah, still enough wind that I don't really want to wander around the house with the camera anyway. I have kind of gone around a little bit. There's a fair amount of damage. Uh, but nothing, yeah, nothing that really hurt us. We did really well. Ow, somebody's biting my foot. <laughs> Trees definitely broke. Um, hmm. Yeah, you can see it's a lot calmer. Still not finished, though. About, uh, what, 10.20 a.m. Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Moir. You can see people uh, getting out and about. Uh, still uh, windy. Um, verging on tropical storm conditions. I think probably actually is tropical storm still. Not too bad. A little bit of rain. Um, yeah, typhoon is definitely passed us and passed us a long time ago um, but I don't know it's still in the area I guess in theory it could come back but that's super unlikely still a little bit too wet to video around the house but I have been around the house that you know a little bit of damage to trees and stuff not not too bad we weathered really well. Chickens mostly seem to have done well. I did happen to find a, one chick that I don't know who's its mother. 
it was uh, it's not in good shape but other than that seems like most everybody got through pretty well we are complete, uh, completely out of uh, contact with anything there is no power so no internet whatsoever and there are no cell towers so no no cell contact, no telephone contact whatsoever. I have heard um, sirens, but don't know what that means, whether people actually are able to contact people somehow. Because <clears throat> I sure can't. Ah, nice neighbor. Just after 11 a.m. Uh, Thursday, May 25, 2023 Typhoon Mawar. Still tropical storm conditions. Uh, a lot of people out and about at this point because it's really not that dangerous anymore. Um, uncomfortable. Um, definitely winds are dying down. Um, thing is still in the relative general area because we're still getting winds. And I'm sure we're still in condition one, um, which means everything is closed. And in theory, we're not supposed to be on the roads, but uh, it's not really enforced. Especially after, I see a lot of people going places though, and I keep wondering where the heck they're going because nothing is going to be open. And it's raining enough, I still don't want to go around the yard. But I, I have, you know, wandered around the yard, seen the seen damages and stuff. I would, would like to document, but see what happens <laughs> when it stops raining, maybe. But uh, I will keep keep seeing, checking the conditions like every hour or so. Okay. Just after noon, Thursday, May 25, 2023, Typhoon Moir. Things have really calmed down quite a bit. Still tropical storm type conditions, though wind has really dropped down quite a bit. Um, so it's storm is definitely leaving our area. This is good. People are, people are out and about. I've been told that the um, that the road that there's a lot of uprooted trees up north uh, that it's much worse up north, and that makes sense because it, it sure looked like um, the storm was a bit north of us. So uh, maybe maybe the uh, I did come across the island, but not here, a uh, bit north north of us. Uh, say Mong Mong, uh, Toto Mighty, maybe up as far as Daddy Do. Uh, no way to know other than word of mouth by travelers. We've gone to, uh, what, Dark Ages kind of stuff. Travelers and getting our news from travelers and wayfarers. But, uh, it's relatively normal, though, gotta say, used to have phones after a storm <laughs> when things were actually connected by copper wire instead of um, fiber, uh, yeah, fiber. The fiber needs power to run and when the power goes out, it's gone. And, and I guess so does the copper, but it took a lot less power to run the copper. So, I don't know, let's see, I'm probably not going to drive anywhere for a, for a while yet, and I still want to document the damage to the house before I go documenting island, but, but it's raining, it's still raining, so there's no real way to do that, huh? 
Maybe, maybe I can think of a way. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna wait another, maybe another hour or so, and then if it hasn't stopped by then, maybe one of these uh, newfangled inventions called an umbrella. That might, that might do it. Casa.